Hey guys, welcome back to another rant and ride. I noticed that I haven't done one of these in, uh, I think it's been a couple weeks actually, but I figured I would jump on here and do one. And, um, some of you guys really like these. Some of you guys are just in with them and some of you guys just know they're not for you. Um, honestly, I do these for me. I do them as kind of a way to kind of update you and just, you guys can see my goofy ass personality all in the, uh, open <laughs> as I drive around Orlando and um the other thing it really helps me get things that are on my chest off it really helps me to just talk about things um I'm kind of a I kind of stay to myself kind of you know not real out I'm not a very outgoing person anymore I used to be and, uh, well, I wouldn't say outgoing. I'm just, I'm just not one to go rush out and go hang out with the crowd, you know? I'm just not, that's not really me. I'm more, I'd rather just sit at home and watch TV or film or, you know, do my makeup ten times in a row. You know, I did my makeup the other day like ten, literally, literally like ten times. I was playing with some new makeup and new, I was trying just some new little styles that, that I wanted to check out. And I sat there, um... Lipstick's the worst, man. I'll tell you what. I must have tried on every color of Jeffree Star lipstick there was. And my lips were, like, raw afterwards. But, anyway. Oh, there is, going on right now, two of my favorite YouTubers. The first being uh, Nady, which is Pop Lux. If you guys are not watching him, where the hell have you been? And the second is... Wayne Goss. Wayne Goss is, uh, if you don't know who he is, then uh, there's something wrong with you there too. He makes the most amazing brushes and he is, he's more um, of a professional makeup artist. Um, and you know, that's, I'm into more professional type artists. I love pa Pat McGrath, as you guys know. I absolutely adore Pat McGrath, but you know, and some of the other, anyway, What's going on is they are asking that to let them know about smaller creators. They don't care if the person has one or one million uh, subscribers, views, whatever, to kind of, you know, get their name out there and let them know. And um, I would love to be featured on one of these channels, but more than be featured on one of these channels, just to know that that person watched for my videos would really just, it would warm my heart. Especially, well, I can't say which one's more. I love Pop Lux, but I love Wayne Goss too. They're both very, very different. You know, if I had a chance to collab with somebody, I would collab with either one of those two. I absolutely love both of them. Now, they they both have uh, different makeup styles completely because uh, Pop Lux is more... Nady's more of a uh, color, more kind of loud and out there, and uh, Wayne Goss is more of a, like, professional artist, you know, that's somebody I would think of that if I could pick anybody to do, like, my wedding makeup, I would love to have him do it, and he is amazing when it comes to more mature skin. You know, and that, that's the other thing, you know, there are not that many of us out here that are more mature that, you know, are showing you guys newer, newer products on more maturing skin. And, um, I enjoy doing it. You know, I started doing this for, my, for just an escape, most of all, of anything. But, you know... <sighs> It's become so much more. I have made friends on here. I have just had some really amazing experiences with, you know, subscribers. And, well, I call a lot of you friends. Actually, I, pretty much all of you guys are, you guys are like friends. I mean, I, when I'm driving around or I'm thinking about something during my day, there's quite a few of you guys that's name pop up in my head. Especially if I, if I haven't seen you on here in a while. I'll be like, oh, well, what happened to her, you know, or this or that, but, you know, that's just, that's me, I'm the kind of person that, there was this old country song, oh my god, what was it, it was talking about, uh, the kind of friend that would jump in, jump in your car at three o'clock in the morning if you broke down, and 
that's me. You know, and unfortunately, most of the friends I've had in my life are the kind of friends that if you called them from your deathbed, you were about to die, they would tell you, hey, I'll call you back. Or just not even answer your call. You might be lucky to even get them on the phone. And it's just, you know, I've been taken advantage of so much. I don't want to get all upset. I really don't. I've been taken advantage of by so, so many people. And it's just like, I don't have it in me to do that. It's just disgusting. How can you, how can you know somebody helped you out with something or, or whatnot? And, and it, like expected you, like say you borrowed money from somebody. Okay. And you just don't ever pay them back. I can't do that. How can you, how can somebody live with themselves like that? You know? And then freaking, you know, it's not like you're, I mean, I can understand if you're having a hard time, call the person up and say, hey, you know, I'm having a hard time, blah, 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 blah. But then don't like throw it in their face and like go out and buy a new dress and new makeup and new, new, new this, new that, get your hair done, your nails done, go, go get your car painted, you know, it, the list goes on. You know, that kind of crap. You know, especially if it's over like an extreme like the time is, not cool. Um, you know, and I try not to be the one that holds a grudge, but I am so bad about that. I, I'm the kind of person I will hold a grudge, but I, I mean, it takes a lot to get me upset to that point, but you know, I ran across a girl that I, I've known her for quite a while the other day and she's owed me money for like three, almost four years. And it's not just, it's not just a little bit. She owes me like a lot of money. This girl owes me, well, I don't, let's not even go into that. This girl owes me a lot of money. And, uh, you know, every time I turn around, it's like, I haven't seen her in a while. And I, I, I don't talk to her a whole lot. I talk to her every once in a blue moon. But every time I do talk to her or something, it's always like, Oh, look at, look at this new jewelry I got. I got this new bracelet. Oh my God, isn't it pretty? Yeah, you got yourself a two carat diamond bracelet, tennis bracelet. You think you could pay me back like 60, 70, 100 bucks of what you owe me? And I just, I, I can't, I'm not that person. I just can't be that person. It's like you guys know that I take care of my neighbor. She's 78 years old. She lives next door to me. And I just can't knowingly sit there and know that she has nobody taking care of her. What a jackass. Leave 10 feet in front of your vehicle so I can't get in the turn lane. Nice people, huh? But, you know... And I talk about it all the time. I talk about how this world's gotten self-centered and, and just, you know, it's it's a me, 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 me world. But anyway, guys, let's talk about something positive for a change. So, apparently, Jeffree Star is is um, discontinuing a lot of products on his, on his page. If you notice, he talks about the Alien palette. I have heard that the... Um, is it the 24 karat gold? The, you know, the two highlighter palettes, I've heard those might be discontinued. I've heard something else. I forget what. But, um, makes you wonder what's coming up next. I really hope it's going to be something purple. I If we don't get a purple palette, I'm going to be so upset. So upset. But, you know, you never know with Jeffrey. But then again... If you guys pay attention how many times you've picked up a purple eyeshadow and said, mm -mm, it's just, there's something, it's just not right. Purple's a very hard color to, to do. It really is. It, and, <coughs> you know, that's why a lot of, if you see a lot of palettes, there aren't a lot of, like, solid purple palettes. But, you never know. Maybe he'll do one. But, anyway guys, I'm going to get off here. I figured I, I kind of rambled on enough. I will see you guys later. And pay attention because I have a giveaway, huge giveaway video coming up. And I'm doing something special where I am giving you not just one, not just two, but you will have three 
chances to get your name into the running to win this prize. And also, I'm I, I'm kind of wondering, let me know, guys, do you want like a really epic, just super huge giveaway? Or do you want me to break it down into a couple of giveaways where a few people get stuff? You guys let me know. Anyway, I will see you on the next one and take care. Bye.